Senator Jeff Bingaman grew up in Silver City in a family with strong ties to New Mexico and a deep commitment to education. My uh, parents were both teachers. My father, of course, was a professor at uh, Western New Mexico University. My mother uh, taught elementary school. They uh, instilled in me at an early age a, a tremendous appreciation for the value of education and I think a lot of other uh, good values at the same time. Uh, Silver City was a great small community that uh, uh, just gave young people uh, every opportunity to, to do well and to feel good about themselves. Bingaman was involved in Boy Scouts from an early age. He earned his Eagle Scout rank at the age of 15. The great thing about being in the Boy Scouts in Silver City is that you spend a lot of time in the Gila Wilderness, at least that's what we did. And so I got a lot of camping and a lot of hiking, and uh, that was a, a tremendous uh, opportunity. The idea of setting a goal, taking the steps necessary to achieve it, uh, feeling good about it once you did it, uh, I think that was the, the, the great value of scouting. During high school, Bingaman was active in student council at both the local and state levels. He was elected state student council president, maybe a forerunner of things to come. When it came time for college, he was accepted at several universities, but settled on Harvard. Harvard was uh, the one that offered me the least in scholarship, so I figured they knew more than the other schools did, and therefore I should go there. But my, I think my parents uh, advised me that uh, that was an opportunity I shouldn't pass up. I studied uh, both uh, government and economics, and I think I got interested in government in particular because of the uh, influence of my uncle as much as anything. He was very active in political races in the state. So my uncle sort of whetted my appetite just by all the stories he would tell. After graduation, it was on to law school at Stanford University. There, he met fellow law student Ann Kovakovich, who became his wife after graduation. They returned to New Mexico to practice law. My first job out of law school was as an assistant attorney general in the attorney general's office in Santa Fe. I think after being there a while, I, I probably like all assistant attorneys general, you, you get the idea that, you know, this is a job I could do if, if the opportunity arose. So I think I probably got it in my mind at that time that if the chance arose to run for attorney general sometime, I'd, I'd uh, try that. And then I went into private law practice and eight or nine years later, uh, there was an opportunity to run, so I did. The family's next move was to Washington, D.C. in 1982 when Bingaman was elected to his first term in the U.S. Senate. Now he's in his fifth term. He becomes the senior senator from New Mexico and continues as chairman of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee when the Congress reconvenes in January 2009. I've tried to, to focus on issues that I think are, are very important to the country, but also to New Mexico. The Valles Caldera is, is a piece of legislation that I worked hard on and um, it's setting aside that area in northern New Mexico for protection, I think, was important uh, for the long-term future of the state. Uh, education's another area that I've spent a lot of time on. I think that the effort there has been to try to raise the standards, uh, raise the standards uh, for uh, instruction in our schools, and of course, health care, which we hope in this new Congress, this upcoming Congress, we can make great progress on. Uh, that's another area where I spend a lot of time on trying to see how we can expand health care access to people. I think uh, I'm going to try, through, as the senior senator, to uh, just ensure that our congressional delegation is working closely together and that we are in sync to the extent we can be on uh, the, the issues that matter most to New Mexico and that we are aggressive in advocating for New Mexico. Although the Binghamans spend most of their time in D.C., New Mexico and its values are critically important to him in the work he does every day. Mr. Chairman, Senator Bingaman, appreciate very much the opportunity to be with you today. Senator Minch and I have always uh, worked well together on issues specific to New Mexico. In recent years, uh, in the Energy Committee, we found ourselves uh, 
in a position where we, we needed to work together on national issues uh, to a much greater extent than we had in earlier years. And uh, we were successful in passing some significant national legislation on, on dealing with our energy problems. Recognizing that leadership opportunities are critical for New Mexico young people, the Senator's office sponsors a day-long leadership training seminar for students each February. And then I do a town hall meeting with students and take their questions and talk about issues that are, that are of interest to them and let them give me their point of view. The other thing that we do, of course, is we have a significant internship program, both in our Washington office, but also in each of our state offices. And we try to bring generally college students to come work in our office and, and see what uh, we're coping with or trying to cope with. And uh, we get a lot of good work out of young people uh, in, in that uh, program. And I, I believe it's a valuable experience for, for the people who do it as well. For your master's in social work, you're required to do two years of field practicum, and the first year is a general um, practicum. And I know that I'm not really interested in doing clinical, and they mentioned the senator's office, and it's right up my alley, exactly what I want to do, you know, work in policy, um, human rights, and that's the kind of um, things we do here at the office. Basically, any constituent that has a problem with a federal agency, um, we can be of assistance to them in this office. The man we honor today has a distinguished record of service, not only to New Mexico, but the entire country. His dedication has earned him a number of recognitions, but he'll tell you he's just doing his job. New Mexico State is a uh, first-class university that is available and uh, the first choice for many young people growing up in New Mexico. I'm very uh, uh, proud to receive the honor, and New Mexico State has always been a school I've admired, and I've had a lot of occasion to work with the president and, and other officials at New Mexico State over the years on, on issues that are of concern to the university. But uh, this, this is an additional connection to the university, which I'm very proud of.